game in a two to one thriller, an instant classic in a regional semifinal. Kayliana Ray, Kylie Folkwine, Sydney Watch are players of the game in the two to one win for Fitch. Kayliana, we'll start with you because you had a you had a big hit. You had the, the hit that got you guys the two to one lead in the ninth inning. Three hits overall four hits, excuse me, overall in the day, four for five. You really had a lot of success against this pitcher today, and she was doing really good of pitching around you guys. Where were you able to find success against her pitches today? Um, I tried to foul off the pitches that I didn't really like, and then when she gave me a pitch that I didn't like, I tried to grab it. That last at-bat gives you guys the go-ahead run, which ultimately becomes the winning run. You're just a freshman, but you step into arguably, the, probably, the biggest at-bat of your entire life. What's going through your mind? How are you calming yourself down to deliver for your team? Um, I was honestly trying to just take deep breaths and um, try and put my the right Kylie, you guys got you got them started with the scoring burst and that was another eighth inning it took, but you got able to get that RBI single to right field. What was it like going through that at bat and finally seeing one fall for you guys to get a run on the board? Um, I, I knew I had to try to get the ball in the crowd. We had to try to change our attempt to get in the box. We had to try to get contact. They were playing really hard. They were playing really well. All the balls we hit, they caught. So we shot how you get over the infield, and that's what I'm trying to get. Steele did a really good job. You guys had 12 hits, but that pitcher, Schuster, she was able to pitch around a lot of runners in scoring position. You're a catcher. You're behind the plate a lot. What was working so well for her? What was making it tough for the lineup today to get those timely hits? I thought she was well, and that we were expecting a lot more than the first type of defense. And our thinking was a lot more back and forth, a lot more change-ups, and we were just too out in front of it. A lot of another person hitting their spots a lot is you. Sit 16 strikeouts in the round of the Sweet 16. Talk about this game. Nine innings, one of the longest ones you've had to pitch. Ebbs and flows of this game. The ups, the downs too. How were you able to battle through nine innings, get the job done? Um, you know, it's what we work on in practice. It's pretty much stamina. You know, you have to be able to go get through these long games. And I kind of fell off a little bit. And I, mean, I, I don't know what it was, but like in the later innings, I kind of fell off a little bit. But I knew I had to bring it back together to do what I could. Do what I could. This game was reminiscent of that second Canfield game last year. It felt like it was going to go on forever. They hit that game-tying home run in the eighth inning, too. And at that point, it can be a panic mode for, for the team. But you compose yourself. The whole team recomposes. How are you able to calm yourself down and get back to focus, get it to the ninth? You know, she's put the score back to 0-0 zero, zero, and played like we have before. Let's talk about you guys finishing this off, getting that third out, guaranteeing your spot into the Elite Eight now. What was all your feelings when you see Ayla catch that ball? You know that uh, the ticket's now punched. Um, off the bat, I thought it was going to be mine, so I was like super scared because I was really deep. I was just trying to keep it from me. But then once I saw it, it was like still in the end, I was like, oh, Ayla got it. Oh, um, I knew Ayla had them. Every ball that's around Ayla, I know she has it. So I was already taking off my helmet to it for her. Like she said, I know my defense makes plays behind me. So the minute it popped up and it's in the air, I knew somebody's going to get it. Ayla Ray was able to flag it down. The Falcons booked their ticket on a 2-1 to -one win over the Comets. As they book their trip to the Elite Eight third year in a row, they'll face the winner of Riverside and Walsh Jesuit.